Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from anthonymorganti.com. Welcome to Mastering On One Photo Raw 2018. In this video, we're going to talk about the fix tools that are available in On One Photo Raw 2018. If we look over at the left hand tool well, we'll see the word fix. And above that word are three different tools you could use to repair any imperfections that may be in your image. Those imperfections could be sensor spots, dust spots, a blemish on a person's face, a power line going across the sky, garbage on the ground, a person in the image that you don't want in the image. With any of these tools, you could repair things like that. And the tools are, from top to bottom, the perfect eraser, the retouch brush and the clone stamp tool. And there is some overlap between these tools, meaning for like a sensor spot, you could use any of the three tools to remove a sensor spot. But the tool, each tool kind of has a specialty and it does something better than maybe the other tool tools, other two tools do. And that's what we're going to discuss today. Now, the first tool we're going to talk about is the perfect eraser. It's right here at the top of the fix tools. And the keyboard shortcut for the perfect eraser is the Q key. And if you look at the top, there's really only a couple different tool attributes, brush size and this gear. If you click on that gear and you use a tablet, you could have it so that the harder you press with the stylus will adjust the brush size or make the brush size bigger if you're pressing harder. And you could turn that on there. If you're not using a uh, tablet, you don't have to worry about that. Now, I've mentioned many times <clears throat> how to change brush size. I'm going to mention it just one more time for those that haven't seen those previous videos. There's several different ways to change brush size. You could just dial in a number. So you could come in here and just write in a number with your keyboard. You could click that little expose triangle and you'll have a slider that changes brush size. You could hover your mouse cursor over the word size. It turns into a horizontal arrow. That's called a scrubby slider. Click with the left mouse button and then drag right or left and you'll change the brush size. You could use your keyboard to change brush size. The right bracket key makes the brush bigger. The left bracket key makes it smaller. And there's actually another way you could change the brush size that I've never talked about. And I need to thank someone, sorry I didn't catch your name, that mentioned in one of the comments of my previous videos that you could use, if you have a PC, the center click wheel on your mouse. And those of us that have Macs, that have a magic mouse, could just drag our finger across the top of the mouse to change the brush size. That functionality is not on by default, so we have to turn it on. To turn it on, go up to the Preferences menu. If you have a Mac, it's found under the On One, on One Photo Raw 2018 menu. If you have a PC, it's under the Edit menu. Get Preferences, and under the General tab at the very top, we have Scrolling Controls. By default, it will say none. You could have it so the scroll wheel will zoom or pan, but we want to change brush size. Click OK, and now with my magic mouse, I could just drag my finger, and it will change the brush size. Those of you with PCs could just use that center click wheel to change brush size. Now, personally, I don't like that on because I often will just accidentally brush my finger across my magic mouse and it's messing my brush size up constantly. So I just leave mine off. So we're using this perfect eraser. You could remove a sensor spot with it. One thing about the perfect eraser though, it's, it's a software heavy, uh, algorithm heavy tool. Meaning when you use it, it's a little slow. So if I wanted to remove this sensor spot here and I click once to remove it, you can see it comes up with a progress bar and it takes a little longer. And that's just for a sensor spot. It takes even longer for larger items. But in my opinion, the perfect eraser works best for larger items. If you look at this image on the ground here, there's some garbage. That's a little bit bigger than a sensor spot, a little bit darker than a sensor spot, a little bit more obvious than a sensor spot. And I want to remove that. So I'm going to zoom in, and I don't have to come off the tool to zoom in. I could hit Command plus on my keyboard to zoom in. If you have a PC, it would be Control plus. And on many keyboards, the plus sign is shared with the equal sign, so you'd be hitting Command or Control equals. But that will zoom you in. 
and every time you hit Command or Control plus or equals, you'll zoom in even more. Now I want to reposition the image, and to do that, hold the space bar in, and the brush turns into a little hand, and with the space bar held in, I could just drag the image to where I want it. So I could see this garbage pretty well. Now, you don't have to, with this tool, just like get a big brush and click once. You could use a smaller brush, and actually in many instances, a smaller brush will work better. And you could just paint over the offending object. So in this case, I'm painting over whatever that thing is laying on the ground. And you could see it does the progress bar. And eventually, it's gone. And it did a really nice job. And on one says that if it doesn't do quite a good, uh, that good of a job the first time, just paint over the area a second time, a third time. It, they claim it gets better every time you paint over an area. So it did very well the first time. So in my opinion, the perfect eraser is better for larger objects. Um, things that if you have a power line going across the sky, uh, something like that. I think it works better than the other two tools. But again, it may vary image to image, and you're, I encourage you to experiment. If one tool doesn't do a good job, try a different one. So we're going to zoom back out, and to fit it to screen automatically, just hit Command or Control 0, and it fits the image to screen. So that is the perfect eraser. The next tool down is the retouch brush. The keyboard shortcut for the retouch brush is the R key. Now we have a couple more attributes for this brush. We do, do have the Wacom tablet or the tablet attribute. And then we have not only size, we have feather. So we could feather the brush to help it blend in a little better. And we have the opacity of the brush. Maybe you don't want to completely remove whatever you're removing. You just want it to be faded a little bit. The opacity is probably best used, in my opinion, for blemishes on a person's face. You don't want maybe to totally remove the blemish, you just want to soften it a little bit, then just bring opacity down. Feathering, for as far as sensor spots, dust spots, water spots on the lens, things like that, um, keep feathering at 100. I find that usually works best. If you're using uh, removing or lessening blemishes on a person's face, feathering between 50 and 75, I found to work best. So remember those numbers. And what we're going to do now is we're going to remove another sensor spot. There's a real dark one. This is actually a water spot uh, on my lens up here. Now, when you have feathering at 100, the brush is heavily feathered. So get a brush that is considerably bigger than the sensor spot. For example, if I get a brush that is just bigger than this water drop and I click once to remove it, you'll notice that once the brush done, it really didn't remove it because the brush is heavily feathered when feathering is at 100. So get a brush that is considerably bigger. It might be a little too big, like that. Then click to remove these. Um, in this case, as I mentioned, they're water droplets. And if you find that it didn't uh, remove it, you could just do it again. And you, do, and you don't, again, have to just click once. You could paint over something like that. Also, a little brush tip. This tip goes for any brush that's in On One Photo Raw 2018. It could be a local adjustment brush. It could be a, a fixed brush, any brush. If you need to remove something that's a straight line, like a power line, uh, go to one far end of that line and click once with your mouse button. Go to the other far end of that line, hold the shift key in, and click a second time and you'll draw a perfectly straight line. So that's a little tip of how you could better use the brush to do something with a straight straight line. Now I made a big ugly straight line in my image here. I want to undo it. I'm going to hit command Z as in zebra. If you have a PC, you would hit control Z as in zebra. There is no history panel in on one and I hope they add one soon. With a history panel, you could step back many steps. With on one, you have to go back one step at a time by hitting Command or Control Z every time. All right, that is the retouch brush. In my mind, the retouch brush works best on sensor spots, dust spots, water spots, blemishes on a person's face, minor imperfections like that. Now we have the clone stamp tool. We'll click on that. The keyboard shortcut for the clone stamp tool is the S key on your keyboard. 
With the clone stamp tool, you're actually going to replace pixels with pixels from somewhere else in the image. So you're going to actually maybe duplicate something. And for this argument, we'll kind of do it both ways. For example, we have these, I don't know what these are here, these pipes going up in the air. Let's say I want to get rid of those. And you can see that the tool brush is actually a little different than the previous tools. We have a plus sign, and then to the right of that, we have the actual brush. Well, what's that mean? Well, the plus is the target. That is where it's going to get the pixels from. And then with the brush, you're going to replace the pixels that are under the brush with the pixels from that plus sign. Now, as far as the brush itself, we have the same attributes, size, feather, opacity. I think in most cases, you're going to use opacity at 100, and you're going to have feathering relatively high towards 100 as well. Now, what we must do first is pick the target. These are the pixels we're going to use to replace other pixels. To do that, hold the Alt or Option key in. It's Alt if you have a PC, Option if you have a Mac, and you can see the cursor turns into this bullseye. Now I'm going to click right there because I want to take these pixels and put them over here. So I'm going to click once with my left mouse button. Now I have my target acquired and you can see that the cursor kind of has what I clicked on in the cursor. But we could do that. It helps us line up where we're going to put this stuff and we're going to put it right there. So what I'm going to do now is click with my left mouse button and just paint and you can see that plus sign to the left of the brush is showing me that's where I'm grabbing pixels from to replace these other pixels. So just like that, I got rid of those pipes or smokestacks or whatever those things were. I'm going to undo it. I'm going to hit Command Z because I just want to demonstrate that you don't have to get rid of something. You could duplicate something. Um, a lot of times North Korea has been accused of increasing crowd sizes on things and they clone people in. Well, let's say we want more smoke stacks or more of these stacks. So I'm going to get a target by holding my Alt or Option key in. I have an Option key because I have a Mac. If you have a PC, it's the Alt key. And I'm going to sample right there. Then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to put these these uh, pipes or whatever they are right there. So I just duplicated them. So that's what the clone stamp is good for. Many times you're going to want to duplicate something or you're going to want to remove something and you're just going to use pixels somewhere else on the image to replace them. One tip with the clone stamp, make sure the light matches. A lot of times if you're trying to replace, let's say there was a blurry bird in here and I just wanted to get rid of the bird. If I get pixels from a far end to replace the bird, there's a subtle light difference and it may not look right. So you're going to try to get those pixels as close to the object as possible so that it, the light matches and it looks natural. So that's one little tip with the clone stamp tool. And those are the three fix tools, perfect eraser, retouch brush, and clone stamp that are found in On One Photo Raw 2018. In our next video, we're going to talk about exporting. Now, you can export anytime. You don't have to export as soon as you're done in the develop module. There may be more you want to do. You may be doing stuff in the effects module or the layers module. But I just want to put it here because I had, had, I've had a few questions, three questions actually, from three different people about exporting an on one. So I'm going to slip that in here because we're done with the develop module. So we're going to, in our next video, export. And then after that, we're going to tackle the effects module. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.